Welcome back guys. So what we've got now is I've got the, uh, do you remember I bought the little one meter sheets of uh, faux leather? So this is what I'm gonna be doing now. I'm gonna be um, wrapping the bottom seat, toilet seat bit in this. And the idea is when you look at it from the underneath, it will look like that. And then these bits will come inside and protect all of this. So we, I won't be damaging any of my tables. One thing I need to do is find those markings that I did and transpose them onto here. Uh, so when I go back to reassemble it, I know exactly how it's meant to go. Right, so I've got my glue, but first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna cut out a circle here uh, and then I'm gonna uh, cut it into wedges and then the wedges are gonna uh, fold up. It will be a bit of a pleat all the way around, unfortunately, but because it's the underside and it's only job really is to protect the table, I'm not too fussed. So, without further ado, I'm gonna score this here. Should hopefully get me through. Right, now that that's there, I'm gonna leave that there um, just to catch any overspill of the glue. And I'm just gonna cut this. Kind of like wedges, so it's gonna be easy to fold over. So this says shake well, uh, and then it, it says for best results apply to both surfaces. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this board off, spray the fabric, spray the board, then put the board back on. Just like carpet glue it looks like. Can do the same here. Back on. Press down. And I'm just going to go around and fold these back up. Let's get rid of this. Just gonna spray a bit on here. Well, let's actually cut it first so it's realistic. Again, I've got a screwdriver, just in case we cover any of the holes. What I can do, I'm gonna punch through, so I can find them later on. Right, should we have a look at that? It's a little bit sticky there, but... Ooh. 
that is the underside. Got some dusty handprints. I'm going to get a uh, get a damp cloth, wipe that down, just in case there's glue on it, so it doesn't stick. But that's the underside of the table that you're not going to see. There we go, lovely jubbly. So that gives us the underside of the table. We've got these um, nice padded areas to protect the actual coffee table. I'm just gonna wait for this glue to fully cure. And then we will, um, then I'll puncture the holes again so we can get our bolts through. I'm not too fussed about this side because that's gonna go flat against the underside of the larger board so you'll never even see that. Excellent. So I'm gonna, like I said, let that cure fully and then uh, I'll make a start on the, on the other one. Great. Right, now that I've uh, covered these, I'm gonna put these to one side. They're kind of looking pretty decent. Um, the back is looking a bit messy, but uh, that's fine because you're never actually gonna see them because they're gonna be sandwiched against these larger boards. Um, if you've kind of, if you're not happy with the finish on the corners there, I'll show you how we can hide those at the end by um, putting some wooden trim around it if you really want. One thing I did uh, notice is as soon as I got these, uh, the faux leather into indoors, you could really smell it. It was really bad. It's like this chemically fish glue smell, which is how they make it. So what I've ended up doing is I hung them out on the washing line for 24 hours and they're, they're absolutely perfect. Now all the smell's gone. So that's just something to be aware of. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna cover the underside. Um, I've been racking my brain about the best way to, to kind of do this next stage and um, the way that I've kind of got it around in my head. You might have some better suggestions. If do, feel free to drop us some comments. But I'm gonna glue the underside down, just the underside, and when that's dry, we're gonna flip it up, put the bolts in, and then um, put the tabletop protector to give it the nice cushion and then glue the top on. Uh, one thing we have to do is we have to um, transpose our markings um, because we're gonna be covering this bottom side. So um, we know which way the two boards will screw together. And then obviously once we cover it in the leather, what I'll do is I'll put some post-it notes on it just temporarily so we know. So I'm going to use the bottom board as my work table. You can do this if you want, you don't have to. You might have a better work table than I do. Ugh. So we're going to cover this one first. Now I'm just going to cover the two large sides. I'm not gonna bother folding it down all four. Obviously around one of them, I will, because we're gonna go underneath and that's the side that's gonna butt up against um, the other table. Oh, there's a little spider, go on. Out of the way, mate. There you go. All right, so this is the underside. We've transposed our markings. I'm gonna spray this glue on it all over again making sure I get the edges. Right, this stuff is a nightmare to get off. So whilst we've not got it anywhere near leather, I'm gonna grab a bit of white spirit and just polish the edges off to take off the glue on the sides. This is just so when I'm like moving around it, I don't stick myself or get this on my hands. So as you'll find, it is a bit of a nightmare to get off. Okay. I'm going to take this board off for now. So I'm going to lay my material flat so I'll make sure there's no wrinkles and then I'm going to put this board on it and hopefully that will get me a nice flat finish. Take one of my sheets.
this to one side. Okay, I'm just making sure I've just got an inch or so over each lip. So we've got enough to do the underside. When I'm happy that that's flat, I grab my board. see my back here but I'm gonna line this up the reason why I'm doing it this way is because this glue is not like wallpaper paste like there's no you can't move it once it's on. So I kind of want to make sure that I get it down in one go. Okay, there we go. You see I've kind of missed this side here. So hopefully... Just gonna have a make, just a quick peek, make sure there's no wrinkles. Which there are. So. Let's try that again. It's not so bad, we can kind of salvage it a bit. It's losing its tackiness, so spray it again. So I'm just going to spray one edge because this is going to be the edge we're going to fold it around. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that looks much better. So I'm just going to spread it out, get all the air bubbles out. Go this way. Remember, obviously, we've not glued it on the underside, so we're going to have a bit of play if you need to move some of the bubbles this way. Right, remember, we're only gluing one side because I still want to put the foam topper on the playing side, so we've got a bit of padding on it. This is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go do the other side. Actually, I'm gonna go grab a bit of lunch, let this dry, do the other side, and then uh, we'll come back. All right, catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, right, so the next step we need to do is to mark or puncture the, um, the bolt holes that we've done. So we've got these bolt holes here that I've marked before, and I'm gonna transpose them to the underside. But because we have got the leather now, I'm going to use these sticky um, markers just to, to kind of line it all up. So all I'm going to do... Make sure I use different colours, obviously.
Okay, now that that's done, get my drill from before and I'm just gonna puncture these holes again now that we've got the, uh, the leather through. Okay, I'm just holding around the leather so it doesn't pull off, pull away from the, uh, the board. Okay, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my bolts. I've gone for the 40 mil bolts because uh, the 25 mil, they're, they're just not going to cut it. They're going to be a couple of mil too short. So rather than running the risk, I'm going to go with the 40 mil. Right now that the bolts are through, I'm going to put this on its side and bolt on the underside. Okay, here you can see my little stars. We're just going to line them up. like that and hopefully this will now go through okay now that that's done I'm gonna pop this back just making sure all the bolts are still flush on the top side I'm gonna neaten this out make sure these bolts are still flush. One tip that I found really easy there that I was struggling with at first was uh, when you're pushing the bolts through, just take it out and push it from the other side because they get a bit sticky, they get a bit worn because we've had glue and stuff all over. So just re kind of energize the hole really with your bolt and then they go through a lot easier. All right. So I'm gonna get my foam topper now. I'm gonna get my foam topper and offer it up to the table. I've got a straight cut edge there, which is the one that I want to the one that we're gonna fold up so we don't have to cut that. And then everything else just overlaps and what we'll do is we'll go around and cut it with a knife once it's applied. And I got a fresh can of adhesive. So I'm gonna start with one end. Lay that down. I'm rushing because uh, the light's going and I don't know how much you guys can actually see. It's not too bad working in, but I don't know what the camera's picking up. All right. There we go. back, smooth it down. Now that that's on, I take a sharp knife and I'm just going to cut along the edge here 
all the way down. Okay, now that that's been cut, we're going to put another coat of glue on the top. And we're going to pull the sheet over. Okay. There we go, I'm going to let that dry overnight, do the other one, and then we can actually take this somewhere now, start putting it together. Right guys, so here it is, I've just put it on top of the uh, other bar table, because uh, it's kind of, it's ready now to protect on there, it's just going to dry overnight. Um, and then the next step, on the next episode, we're gonna, well, I'm gonna think about how to finish these edges so they don't come apart and how they still look neat. Um, we'll probably might involve a, a nail gun and maybe uh, putting on our, our battens. But yeah, this is half the table. I've got the other half to do, but you can see it's gonna be a wonderful looking table to play on. Uh, it's got a bit of jog here, but that's just the floor, so. What is any bar stall without any beer coasters underneath them? So we can level all that out later. But yeah, thanks for watching. Next time, we're going to be finishing the edges, okay? Uh, and then we can start adding all the fun bits. So yeah, see you on the next one. Thank you very much.